as the College of New Jersey Wind Ensemble fills Lions Stadium with music celebrating our graduates, including the familiar strains of pomp and circumstance, I ask that you combine the joy and fulfillment of the occasion with your attention, respect, and the dignity befitting commencement here at the college.
I'm Rosie Heimerling, member of the Board of Trustees, alum of the College of New Jersey, as well as an educator. I hereby call to order the 2021 commencement ceremony for the School of Education. It is an honor and a pleasure to welcome you and all of those watching via our live webcast to these exercises, which celebrate our newest graduates as they join the ranks of our distinguished alumni. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I offer the graduates heartfelt congratulations on their exceptional achievements and their extraordinary promise. At this time, I present to you Dr. Catherine Foster, the 16th president of the College of New Jersey. Thank you, Trustee Heimerling. And it is my honor to add my welcome to this joyous occasion, the 2021 commencement exercises for the College of New Jersey. Let me begin by introducing honored participants who will not otherwise be introduced during the ceremony. I ask each group to stand upon introduction and remain standing until we have recognized the group. First, it is my great pleasure to recognize members of the College of New Jersey Board of Trustees, the President's Cabinet, and members of three important advisory boards of the college, the TCNJ Foundation, the TCNJ Alumni Association, and the Trenton State College Corporation. Thank you for being exceptional partners to this college and for your attendance today. Please join me in applauding their contributions. Please be seated. I now ask members of the TCNJ School of Education faculty to please rise. Graduation does not, cannot happen without these indispensable members of our community. As dedicated, talented, creative, and award-winning teachers, advisors, mentors, and scholars, you have given immensely to prepare our graduates for this day, to ready them for their next chapter, and to generate their fond memories of TCNJ. Please, students especially, join me in extending our deepest thanks and appreciation to your faculty. Please be seated. With the members of our talented and dedicated TCNJ staff, many of whom are at this moment working the event, please rise if you are able. You have nurtured our graduates from before they enrolled as students and throughout their time on our campus. Your care is further reflected today. Plants and chairs neatly placed, audio loud and clear, live streaming underway, programs published, diplomas readied, no detail left untended. Graduates and guests, Please join me in extending our fondest thanks and gratitude to our dedicated TCNJ staff. Please be seated. Commencement is a proud moment in the life of a college and a very proud milestone in the lives of our degree candidates. Class of 2021, this celebration in your honor and the degree you will receive today signal a significant and meaningful milestone. From this day forward, no matter where life takes you, you will be a graduate of the College of New Jersey, one of the nation's finest institutions of higher education. Class of 2021, whatever your next chapter, in graduate school, place of employment, or civic service, bring to it your strongest and surest lion's roar. The world needs that, and it needs you now more than ever. On behalf of a proud and grateful college, congratulations and go get them, class of 2021, thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce your dean, Dr. Suzanne McCotter, Dean of the School of Education, to address the class.
Thank you, President Foster, and good afternoon, everyone. I'll start this commencement's remarks in the same way I start every commencement, by welcoming the parents, friends, and family who are in, here in support of our graduates, by thanking the faculty and staff who've done so much to help us get to this day, and by heartily congratulating all of you for reaching this milestone. But today is not like other commencements. Today, we need to pause and think about the year we've all just experienced. We've had many losses. I'll ask you to think for a moment, to pause in our celebration and think about what's been lost this year. What was the first thing you lost? For me, it was a night out with my niece to see a Broadway show, March 14th. We've all lost experiences, in-person entertainment, trips, holiday gatherings. We've lost people, leaders, friends, family. Our students and clients have lost friends and family. And we've lost interaction. Your work this year was not what you anticipated throughout your education. Our life's work depends upon people working together. You did not have circle time with a whole class of first graders in your student teaching experience or classrooms the way you thought you would. You did not have one-to-one -one client interaction or groups to work with during your internships. You didn't have the labs and engagement you thought you'd have in your culminating year with your classmates. You didn't always have the chance to celebrate achievements in person. And nevertheless, you persevered. And today, you get to celebrate in person. The amazing things I've seen this year as a leader of educators, counselors, and other human services professionals has given me the hope to persevere. I've seen the resilience of student teachers embracing creativity, collaboration, and technology in ways that no teacher before them has ever had to do. I have seen emerging counselors rapidly switching modalities so they can continue to support and help their clients even when it's mediated by a technology that had the potential to strip the humanity away. I've seen students figure out how to interact, learn, and collaborate over Zoom instead of dorm rooms, student lounges, and in the student center. So even in the face of all that loss, I see resilience that shines above everything else. When we look back at this year, I hope that we can focus more on our collective experience and what we gained than the gaps you're perceiving right now. In 2060, all of you will look back and collectively remember the experience you didn't have rather than the ones you did have. You may have had to cancel your senior spring break trip, but the travel that comes in the future will be so much sweeter because of that. Your student teaching and internships and classes were in new and sometimes unpredictable settings, and you had to figure out how to do that work in completely new situations, and you did. You are flexible, adaptable, and innovative. And no matter what's thrown at you in the future, you'll have those characteristics to draw upon. You know that whatever the situation is, you'll succeed. You already have. I'm so proud to congratulate the class sitting in front of me, and I am grateful to call you colleagues. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. David Boyer, assistant professor from special education language and literacy, who was selected by the senior class to bring greetings to our graduates on behalf of the faculty. Good afternoon. Um, I would like to begin this brief remarks by thanking you all for the honor of being selected as your graduation speaker. When I received the communication from the senior class inviting me to speak, this invitation made me to think about when I joined TCNJ. Many, many thanks for the class-wide nomination, and another thank you that I want to say is from faculty to you students for being our students. Thank you very much for that. Given the enormity of today's celebration, I thought that it would be prudent to talk about a little thing we care about. It's not so little, actually. Um, my entire speech is going to focus on one member of TCNJ, perhaps the most famous of all TCNJ members, 
Roscoe the Lion. <laughs> Every college has a shared identity for its community members, and here we are lions. We take after Roscoe, we declare to the world our identity, we say it over and over again, we are lions. You graduate as a proud lion. Our beloved mascot, Roscoe, makes this place famous. You can find impressions of Roscoe everywhere. Just look around, you'll see Roscoe everywhere. <laughs> I come from sub-Saharan Africa, Kenya, to be, specifically, to be specific. And in Kenya, we speak Swahili. The word lion in Swahili is Simba. You know that because Disneyland did a <laughs> nice animation of Lion King where Simba was the main character. But I wanted to introduce you to Roscoe, to the lion, to Simba. Now this introduction might sound strange at this point when you are literally on your way out. You should have known Roscoe by now. So I'm going to use a language cultural lens, language and culture, to talk about Simba. I'll present three scenarios to make three quick points and then I sit down. Scenario number one is a story. Scenario number two is a proverb. Scenario number three is one word. I'll start with the story. In Swahili folk tales, Simba is normally depicted positively as the king of the jungle, a leader. However, now and again, Simba flounders like all fallible beings. The story I'm about to tell you is entitled The Lion Problem. Once upon a time on the Serengeti Plains lived a feared lion called Simba. Simba used to hunt and he killed many animals for food. One day, the wise old tortoise, Kobe, decided that if the animals had a schedule of who is going to be eaten, and if they all participated, they would live a less fearful life. This schedule would regulate lion's behavior. The plan was they would present themselves one by one to the lion to eat. If, for example, buffaloes presented themselves today, one of them today, they would be at peace until they come to their turn after all other animals had done the same. Why would Simba agree to this, asked Twigger, the giraffe. Well, said Taurus, the wise old man, Simba will agree because he will no longer need to run and hunt and sweat, looking for food. We shall be serving him. It will be easier for him. Who would say no to being given food on a platter? After considering this plan carefully, the animal sent an emissary to Simba who agreed to the proposed plan on the strict condition that if the animals broke the side of the deal, Simba would unleash himself upon them with a vengeance. To win him over, the animals had said, we are feeding you like a king. So Simba agreed. The next day, the zebra group were called upon to provide one of them for Simba's dinner, and they did. After that, they grazed everywhere without fear. One petulant young zebra even grazed a few meters away from where Simba was sleeping. This was an act of lunacy in the past, but now it could happen. Next, it was the buffaloes, then the giraffes, the elands, the gazelles, the deer, the warthogs. The crocodiles joined in. For a couple of months, life was very good for the animals, for after they had contributed to Simba's meal, they no longer needed to keep looking up in case Simba would pounce on them as they were grazing. It took courage at first, but eventually some of them were grazing very in close proximity to where Simba was, and the day arrived when it was Rabbit's turn to provide for Simba's dinner. They selected one of them who was to go to Simba and say, Hi Simba, I'm your dinner, I've come. Rabbit is famously portrayed in Swahili folklore as Sunguram Janja, trickster rabbit. The rabbit who had been volunteered thought hard about this situation and came up with a plan. He never showed up at the time he was supposed to present himself. Hours late, he came to Lion, all muddy and filthy. Simba, famished from the long wait, glared angrily at Rabbit. I don't eat such dirty food, roared the lion. Sir, said Rabbit, as calmly as he could manage, we selected four of the biggest rabbits to come to you to be your dinner, but on the way here, another large lion ate all the other three rabbits, and I escaped to come and tell you about it. Show me this other lion. He's bigger than you, sir. He's very bad. He will kill you, I said. Show me the other lion. The story ends, in the interest of time, when Rabbit walks Lion to a well, looks inside, Lion looks inside the well and sees his reflection. He thinks that's another lion. He roars, 
The echo of the roar comes back louder, so Lion jumps in to confront the invasive lion. And Rabbit returns to the other animals to declare their lion problem was gone. There are many lessons we can glean from this story for our purpose, and I'll summarize it as follows. As educators, one disposition that you should consider taking up as you march into this world is reflexivity. It is no wonder that you have heard this term coming up, and faculty will have, have spoken to you about it many times, reflexive pedagogy. That's not a new statement. Paulo Freire, in his book, Pedagogy of Hope, has written, whoever teaches learns in the act of teaching, and whoever learns teaches in the act of learning. Scenario number two, it's much quicker than the first one. This is a Swahili proverb, and it says, if you see a lion that has been drenched by the rain, don't think that you're looking at a cat. Ukiona simba menyeshewa usidhani ni paka. In other words, don't underestimate a lion. The reason that this proverb exists is the recognition that there's something about being a lion that cannot be washed away by rain. Rain doesn't wash off lionhood. And I'll come back to lionhood in scenario number three. I want to say that 2020 and 2021 have taught us many things. One of those, you've heard the dean talk about it, resilience. Other things, perseverance, hope, value for networks and human connections. 2020, 2021 have unfurled tests, tribulations, and challenges together with presenting opportunities and lessons. In the proverb that I spoke of, the rain is a metaphor for circumstances that might befall us as we go into the classroom to teach. In the day-to-day -day classroom, you're going to confront the rain of standardization versus individualization. There'll also be the rain of metrics as measure of success versus teaching as caring relations. There'll be the threatening rains of teacher burnout There'll be the rains of inadequate remuneration, thunderous clouds of limited supplies, howling winds of testing, testing, testing. But as the proverb says, your lionhood cannot be washed off by challenges. The, transformative cl the classroom remains a transformative space. Thus says Bell Hooks in the book um, Teaching to Transgress. My third scenario. As I mentioned before, lion translates into Swahili as Simba. There's another word here, U Simba. Simba is the prefix, and you know what it means now. But U in Swahili is quality of. So U Simba means quality of being a lion. In other words, I'm asking you now, what is your U Simba? What is your lion? You graduate today and walk off with a bit of Roscoe the lion in you. Simba is brave, Simba is a hunter, Simba is a, team, is a team player. Simba's actions are consequential. You cannot ignore the roar of a lion. I will now go back to the beginning and say, upon graduation, you're not just taking TCNJ credentials, you are also co an eco architect in the construction of your lionhood. We have learned about three dispositions here, reflexivity, resilience, authenticity. I'm now going to leave you with the words of Mr. Eric Thomas, Trenton's 2020 Teacher of the Year at Parkway Elementary School, who, when asked how he sustained his energy for the 22 years he's been teaching in public school, he said, and I quote, I bring myself to the script, end quote. I would like for you to consider my speech as an invitation for you to bring yourselves to the teaching script. You're all going to be great teachers. Congratulations. It is now my great pleasure to introduce the president of the senior class, Keanu Obevery. Thank you very much. Distinguished faculty, administrators, family, and class of 2021, welcome. The day has come where our class has proven that obstacles are not barriers. That aspiring, determined, and resilient students can earn their degree in the midst of such unprecedented times. And while I can address our class describing these adverse times, you already know it. You've lived it. You felt it. I'd much rather focus on you, the students, who have conquered it. Every single graduate before me today embodies their own profound purpose. And bestowed upon you is the responsibility to determine what that purpose is. 
What I see before me today are not just a group of graduates. I see stories. Gratifying stories that are composed of the unique journey you took to be sitting in these seats today. And while I cannot consolidate all of your stories and share them in my address, I can share with you my own. I transferred to TCNJ fall of 2019 after earning my associate's degree in biology. The one phrase I would use to describe myself during this time was blindly ambitious. When I arrived on campus, I auditioned and interviewed for every performing arts program and leadership position. You name it, I was rejected by it. Discouragement began to settle in and it was like a heaviness that I could not mask but only ignore using the tenacious drive I had to be something. I ran for my first student government election and was like, sorry, I ran for my first student government election and was elected senator for the School of Science. That was the moment I realized I could be whoever I wanted to be at TCNJ and set the goal to become senior class president. In my first semester at TCNJ, I faced tremendous challenges that at first hindered my success. As spring 2020 approached, I had two options. Option one was to quit, was to believe that my struggles deemed me incapable. Option number two was to be. Be vulnerable, be fearless, be certain that my current struggles were not indicative of my future reality. I became proud of my failures because I'm far from defined by them, nor am I limited in my ability to defy them. Remember this small phrase, failure fortifies. So I persevered with very little chance of graduating with this class, let alone leading it, allowing the minute beacon of hope that I had supersede the doubt that I felt. Now I stand before you today as a testament to what believing yourself can truly do. When you leave here today, you will be met with various paths to take. I urge you to embark on the path that will lead to your version of success, which may be uncomfortable, Embrace the discomfort. When you envision your future and what you want to be successful in, don't look at it as if, but rather when. Be fascinated that you are presented with the opportunity to make anything you want with your future. And now, as you navigate your own lives in such uncertain, unprecedented, unpredictable times, I invite you to dream. Dream about where you intend to be in the future, and from this moment on, be relentless in your pursuit to achieve those goals. You never know where dreaming can take you. Although commencement may seem like the end of an era for you, commencement is a beginning, not an end. Create a legacy that you will be proud of. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. <laughs> It is now my pleasure to introduce the Senior Class Secretary, Megan Frederick, and Vice President of Operations, Joely Torres. President Foster, will you please join us at the lectern? TCNJ has given us so much during our time here. The lessons we have learned and the skills we have gained will serve as well as we continue our academic pursuits, begin our professional careers, and embark on any of the journeys life may have in store for us. On behalf of the class of 2021, I am proud to announce that as a symbol of our lasting impact on the College of New Jersey, we have raised funds to gift a swinging bench to be located on Quimby's Prairie. A plaque with the mantra, what is your legacy? will be installed to encourage future classes of students to consider their impact and how they will give back to our alma mater. Thank you to all of the members of the class of 2021 for making this contribution possible. Thank you, Megan, and thank you, Joelle. Thank you to all of members of the senior class. This is a beautiful and generous gift, and it's one that's not only beautiful and generous, but it's also functional. So thank you so much. I know that this will be well used by future generations of students, and I also know that it's a tangible reminder of our mutual affection for the college. Thank you so much. Peter Simons, president of the Alumni Association, will you please join us at the lectern? On behalf of the class of 2021, we happily present our class flag to the Alumni Association. This flag, which we received at convocation just four years ago, 
is not only representative of our first moment together as a class, but a symbol of the growth, both personally and academically, that we have made since. Our experiences throughout these last four years at the college have prepared us for this day, and this flag now represents the incredible legacy that we will leave behind. With this banner, the class of 2021 will remain united in spirit and gather in reunion under its proud heading for years to come. Thank you, Megan and Joely. On behalf of the Alumni Association and the 90,000 alumni I represent, I want to congratulate the class of 2021 and officially welcome all of you to membership in the College of New Jersey Alumni Association. Throughout your careers, you will encounter fellow alumni everywhere you turn. In fact, there are many among us today. If you are an alum of Trenton State Teachers College, Trenton State College, or the College of New Jersey, would you please stand, if able, or wave your hands to receive our recognition? Welcome back to campus. We are thrilled to have you join in today's celebration. As you move forward, work hard to be active members of the alumni community and do not forget to support your alma mater in any way you can. Our alma mater only strengthens by the continued engagement of our alumni community. Congratulations again to all of you, and I look forward to hearing about all of your future successes. Until then, we'll hold this class banner and look forward to future reunions when you can gather underneath it once again. Thank you very much. At this time, I am pleased to introduce a special presentation for the School of Education's 2021 graduating class. The music for this presentation is The Road Home by Stephen Paulus, sung by the TCNJ Chorale, accompanied by the TCNJ Wind Ensemble, and featuring soloist Casey Ackerman, class of 2021. <laughs>
In a moment, we will confer degrees, after which graduates will hear their name called and will walk across the stage. Many are wearing cords or stoles to signal academic, leadership, and organizational honors and affiliation. Also listed in the program are the names of graduates earning Latin honors, that is, academic distinction marked by overall GPAs of 3.6 or better on a 4.0 scale. We reserve this particular distinction for public recognition within the commencement ceremony. Will all graduates who have earned an overall GPA of 3.6 or higher please rise if you are able or wave your hands. And please join me in applauding these graduates. Thank you, you may be seated. It is now my pleasure to ask Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Jeffrey Osborne, and Dean Suzanne McCotter to come forward to present the candidates for degrees. Thank you, President Foster. The conferral of your degree marks the culmination of your hard work and academic persistence. The movement of the undergraduate candidates' tassels from the right to the left is a symbolic gesture of the conferral of your degree. Because the candidates for all graduate degrees already hold baccalaureate degrees, their tassels should already be placed on the left. Dean McCotter will now present the graduate and then the undergraduate candidates. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the President will then officially confer the degrees. Thank you, Provost Osborne. Will the faculty from the School of Education please rise as you're able to join me in celebrating our graduates? Will the candidates from the School of Education for the Master of Education and Master of Arts in Teaching degrees please stand if you are able? Provost Osborne and President Foster, the candidates from the School of Education whose names appear on the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for the Master of Education and Master of Arts in Teaching degrees are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. Candidates for the Master of Education and Master of Arts in Teaching degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey, and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree you have earned and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. Will the candidates from the School of Education for the Bachelor of Science degree and the Certificate of Completion for the Career and Community Studies program please stand if you are able. Provost Osborne and President Foster, the candidates from the School of Education whose names appear on the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree and the Certificate of Completion for the Career and Community Studies program are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. This is it. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree and the Certificate of Completion for the Career and Community Studies program. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree you have earned and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. 
you may move your tassels from the right to the left as a symbol of your accomplishment. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. Before we begin the graduate roll call, I have the following instructions for our graduates. You will follow your field marshal to the stage when instructed. When you hear your name called, please walk across the stage and pick up your diploma cover from the center table. This is a test in how well you remember instructions. <laughs> the photographer will take your photo at the designated spot at the end of the ramp and we then ask that you return to your seat. Dr. James Byers, Associate Professor and Chair, Elementary and Early Childhood Education Department, and Ms. Amy Schuler, Assistant Director, Career and Community Studies Program, will serve as our name readers. This is wait time. You learned about wait time in your classes? Awesome. Oh. Evan Barrios. Ava Bocheri. <laughs> Francesca Varios. Jenna Francesca Varios. Grace Wilson. Lauren Luvek. Kristen Victoria Lang. Kathleen Mary Pascal. Mia Rosenthal. We got a fan club up here, Mia. <laughs> Samantha Phillips. Ogislin Jimenez. Jacqueline Garrison. Sarah Toll. Mary Dirienzo. Sarah Borden. Yeah. 
Melissa Garneau. Rosemary Bill. Miranda Palumbo. Megan Fantuzzi. Andrea Maring. Francesca Da Silva. Taylor Dembowski. Sophia Haida. Sophie Kraus. Brittany Kreckel. Joanna Guamano. Lauren Iannini. Selenia Rios. Kelly Hodnett. <laughs> Emily Ackerman. Hi. Megan Murphy. Brienne Rogers. <laughs> Brianna Senzi. <laughs> Olivia Richardson. Samantha Marino. Allison Lewis. Lauren Nutt. Andrew Sensi. You're good, you're good. <laughs> Dana Bakerman. Alexandra Panasuk. Lisa Smith. Asha Patel. Yes. 
Tara Pilleri. Eliana Kent. Kara Hunt. Got those red shoes. Amy Kuhn. I think I spelled. Caitlin Morgan. Liliana Rios. Yeah. Siobhan Pena. Oh. Heidi Schweitzer. Amanda Kerr. Jill McGovern. Victoria Hanna. Laurel. Wong. <laughs> Alyssa Gossett. <laughs> Carly Samuel. <laughs> Caitlin. Marshall. Nicole Charles. Jamie Parks. Taylor Steer. Woo! Alina Roychowdery. Jade Choi. Teresa Margaret Sandberg. Brandy Goodman. Plunkett. Gina Garcia. Julianne Freshella. Haley. Mayo. Austin Calvano. Sophia Foti. Nicole Taylor Matthews. Woo! 
Bethany Castellucci. <laughs> Tiffany Nicole Coleccia. <laughs> Yu Hyun Hyun. Heather Santiago. Emily Halsey. Juliette Lamont. Amanda Chen. Brooke Alda. Alexis Richardson. Jennifer O'Leary. Vivian Chow. Jennifer Cirillo. Erica Iavino. Jasmine Hiwan Song. Ashley Smith. Faith Walker. Shelby Manshore. Gabriella Mostrangeli. Zoe Kresker. <laughs> Tara Mild. <laughs> Kiara McRae. Valentina Zapata. <laughs> Catherine Cole. <laughs> Sydney McGowan. Alyssa Titus. Aaron Patan. Celine Sayanar. Laura Howley. Nicole K. 
Caldavilla. <laughs> Alyssa Scaglione. Kathleen Burke. <laughs> Ashley Green. <laughs> Abigail Hillman. <laughs> How are you doing, Claire? Claire. Garrett. Dana Madden. Kieran Choi. Angelica Kelleher. When are we switching? When are we switching? Not, not yet, last 11. Siana Crowell. Jenna Autumn Hartman. <laughs> Michelle Silvestri. <laughs> Bridget Nizel. Alana Stakowitz. <laughs> Olivia Sullivan. <laughs> Vanessa Martinelli. Valerie <laughs> Angeles Malesio <laughs> Kaylee Recio Tavares. Christina Granados. Nathan William Kowalski. Michael Shaquille Underwood. Peyton Riley Christensen. <laughs> Derek D. Noble. <laughs> Jonathan Lewis Murphy. Delon Deshawn Noble. <laughs> David Y. Rothschild. <laughs> Bridget Mairead Bowes.
Tal Hirsch. Omar Renato Abasada. Yeah! <laughs> Alexandra Santinello. Please join me in another round of applause for our graduates. Before we conclude our commencement exercises for the class of 2021, there is one last thanks to give. Graduates, please rise if you are able. Graduates, this is your achievement, but it very likely came with abundant support and encouragement. Please turn. Will all the family members, friends, and loved ones who have come today to celebrate with a graduate, please stand if you are able. I think you know what to do. The line in the script was to, you know, blah, 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 give those standing a much deserved <laughs> round of thanks and appreciation, but you knew what to do. So <laughs> congratulations. Please be seated. Oh, really, I shouldn't say that because my next line is, ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Please rise. Please rise for the singing of the alma mater, led by Casey Ackerman, Joseph Rippert, Matthew Schloman, and Elena Stampy, all members of the class of 2021, and accompanied by the TCNJ Wind Ensemble. The, world's, the words to the alma mater appear on the inside back cover of your program.
Please be seated. Before we begin our recessional, I ask all graduates and guests to help us prepare for our next ceremony by not leaving programs or water bottles at your seats. Graduates, please follow the instructions of our field marshals to recess from the stadium. Guests, please follow the instructions of our staff volunteers to exit the stadium as swiftly as possible using the gates to your right. I now close the 2021 commencement ceremony of the College of New Jersey by asking for one last rousing round of applause for our graduates. Thank you.